The Prayer of Enos. Today on episode 22 of the Book of Mormon Scripture Challenge, uh, we are going to look at a short book that is in the Book of Mormon that gives a clear illustration of the grace of God. Uninterrupted, here is a segment of the short book of Enos. I will tell you the wrestle which I had before God before I received a remission of my sins. Behold, I went to hunt beasts in the forest, and the word which I had often heard of my father speak concerning eternal life and the joy of the saints sunk deep into my heart, and my soul hungered, and I kneeled down before my Maker, and I cried unto him in mighty prayer and supplication for mine own soul. And all the day long did I cry unto him, yea, and when the night came, I did raise my voice high that it reached the heavens. And there came a voice unto me saying, Enos, thy sins are forgiven thee, and thou shalt be blessed. And I, Enos, knew that God could not lie. Wherefore, my guilt was swept away. And I said, Lord, how is it done? And he said unto me, because of thy faith in Christ, whom thou hast never before heard nor seen, and many years pass away before he shall manifest himself in the flesh. Wherefore, go to, thy faith hath made thee whole. And it came to pass that when I had heard these words, I began to feel the desire for, for the welfare of my brethren, the Nephites, wherefore, I did pour out my soul unto God for them. His story continues as he turns from an inward desire of salvation to an outward desire. We see here in this story that God forgave Enos and swept away all his guilt because of his faith in Christ. This was the gift of grace given to Enos at that very moment. When asking how it was done, God explains that it was through faith in Christ. No works were necessary, just His sincerity. The members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are very service-oriented people that truly do, as Christ said, feed my sheep. This shows God our faith in Him, and we do it for the love of God and others, not for a desire to be saved because all of us will be saved by the grace of God. There is no other way that we can be saved. Next time, we are going to examine the teachings of King Benjamin. I would encourage you to read Messiah chapters three through five to examine what he taught. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email is brother3tyler at gmail.com and check out the website, bomschallenge.org. Until next time.